Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my Vera Bradley stationery collection video. Currently, I am keeping all of my Vera Bradley stationery in this Vera Bradley Java Navy camo casserole carrier. Yeah, it's meant for food, but I saw this during the Vera Bradley birthday sale, and I didn't see anything else in the store that I really needed or wanted. Um, at the time, so I just went ahead and got this. And so this is where I'm currently keeping all of my stationary items. So first, we will get started with the pens. I have this ink pen set pack of three in the fall 2021 medley. And I've got the hanging around print, Rosa floral in the middle, and then the one on the other end, I'm not sure what the name of that one is, we don't have, um, we don't have that print out yet in anything, to my knowledge. And then the other set I have, this one's pretty old, this is Parisian Paisley and Parisian Paisley Dots. This is a mechanical pencil, this is a pen, both of these were used a lot back in the day when I was in college. Here's the pencil, still has lead in it and everything. And here is the pen. This pen set is the click top pen style and it is Paisley in Paradise and then it's coordinating interior pattern. That's what that looks like. And then another pen style I have which is I think the same style as this one. This is Catalina Blue and Catalina Showers. And I think those are all the pens and pencils that I have by Vera. I think I used to have more, but you know, back in the day when they ran out of ink, I probably just disposed of them. Okay, so just kind of random order here. This is the day by day set, three journals with 80 line pages. And I think this pattern is called Versailles, if I remember correctly. And it's a set, so you get this like pretty box here. You can even see the interior pattern in there. And then they give you the three line journals, look like this, the interior pattern, and then the exterior pattern. This version just has the, the uh, border on it. And I don't know if anything is written in these, so I can show you the pages. So it looks like the pages are the same. Yeah, the pages are the same in all of them. And this is what they look like, so you get a little red flower on the bottom there. I've had this for quite some time too. This my former boss gave me at the specialty retailer I used to work at. They sell Vera and she had one of these left from years ago when Vera Bradley used to sell this. This is really, really cool. Um, basically, it shows a lot of the older fabrics all on the front, on the inside, on the back inside, and then on the back cover. And they just have Vera Bradley Journal on the spine there. The cool thing about this, though, is that they give you all of the fabric names there. If you want to pause and take a look at that. And the years too, which is really cool. And wow, they even included, I didn't even notice this, they even included an, a journal entry in there. So if you want to pause and take a look at that. Marks the 100th anniversary of Vera Bradley's birth. Very cool. And it says at the very bottom, more excerpts from Vera Bradley's journals are included in the back of this book. Do I have it upside down? No, I don't have it upside down, but this these couple pages are upside down. As you can see, it says date at the bottom and it's upside down. Okay, here is the the packaging, so to speak. I still have that in there. 
So it's just called Vera Bradley Journal. A long time ago, suggested retail, $15. A while back, I looked at these on eBay, and there were a ton at the time. That was years ago when I did that, so I don't know if these are still common on third-party sites. But here are some more of the journal entries there. And then more of the archived patterns. And then there's the back again. So I really love this because it's just like a blast from the past. And the pages are gold lined as well. I haven't used this. I don't know. I think this is more like a collector's piece for me. So I might not ever use that. This is the paperback book cover. And I was gifted this with one of my eBay purchases. I can't remember what the eBay purchase was, but someone just threw this in as like a gift with purchase type thing. And it still has the tags and everything. Paperback cover and Capri Blue, suggested retail $15. And it is crisp and new. Sorry, people are, people are being wild outside apparently. Some guy is screaming out there. But there's the tag there. I love these old Vera tags. These are like the really old ones. Let's see if I can flip it around here. These are before the like iconic green ones that everybody knows. That's what they look like. And I really like this pattern. I don't have anything else in this print. But this will fit my smaller books like The Hobbit, for example. And I have other books that are that small. It comes with a little, you know, green bookmark. Really cute, very soft. Uh, has the diamond quilting on it. Then these four journals, I think, are all identical styles. Okay, so we'll start with these three. So I've talked about this in a couple other of my videos. Vera Bradley uh, used to have their online outlet sale on eBay. It was unofficially called VBay. And my mom was really into that and she would buy stuff all the time for me and her. And she knows I like to write, and I was in college at the time too, so I was using notebooks left and right. And she bought me these three notebooks. They are absolutely beautiful. They're all faux leather. And this one is black, and the front says, what's your story? It's got like a little bit like that textured, and it comes with a pen there, like a cheetah print pen. Camo cat maybe. And I do not know what is on the back there. None of the others have that marking on it, so I'm not sure what happened. Again, I've had these for years. It says Vera Bradley back there. But to unlock, so to speak, the journal, you're just going to push this pen up and just take a look at the pen style. It's the twist to right style, so you just twist the top there. And it's even got a little clip, so you can, you know, clip it over here. Paper. And the journal looks like this. And, uh, oh, I got it upside down. You've got the camo cat on the inside. And then the pages are online, which are these, that's my favorite. I like it when they're online pages. That's the black one. And then, if I can get it back in there, okay. Then I've got the blue one that says, another day, another adventure. It's got the same camo cat pen. And let's see, it probably has the same camo cat lining. So this actually does have writing in it. I've used this one. Okay, but there's the camo cat. Love this color blue. And then this one, this pattern is a little bit of a mystery to me, but I have seen there used to be an XL throw in this pattern, and I'm so sad I missed out on it because I love this pattern. I love that that sea foam background, very pretty. And then you have a camo cat blue pen with this one. And I assume there is camo cat blue. This has writing in it as well. Yeah, I'm trying to look. Okay, no camo cat blue liner, just got the light blue page there. Super pretty. I, I just love these very sophisticated looking pretty journals. And then this one, when I first moved to the last town that I lived in, one of the first things we did after 
we spent the whole day moving in is that we went to TJ Maxx just for something fun to do. And I found this journal and they sold it to me for like $2 because somebody ripped off the little pen holder and it didn't come with the pen. This is in Modern Medley, I think. Modern Medley? I think that's the pattern here. Love this. And then here is the uh, inside pages there. I don't know that I've used this one. This one actually has lined pages. But so cute. I just love this pat. Like, I, I've always liked this pattern. I don't have anything in it. I think the blanket would have been nice, but now the blanket's kind of rare. But super cute. Then I have this little penguin uh, pouch, not really stationary. I think it came out with Playful Penguins Gray a couple years ago. But inside of the little zipper pocket, I don't know why this is in here, but I just have a nail clipper and like a little nail cleaner, like under the nail cleaner. At one time I had extra flash drives in here and now those are in one of those little Kisslock Vera Bradley pouches. So this definitely deserves to be used for something better because this is so cute, this little pouch, but that's what it's currently being used for. And then these are adorable. So these are the little note cards in the pattern Totally Turk, an older pattern. They still have the plastic, but I have used these. There are so many more of these, and I've used them for so many different things. They're great when you are giving a gift and you just want like a little tag card that says, you know, happy birthday or something. These are great for that. They are still in the plastic, but I like how they package these because you can open them up and see what's inside. So it comes with a cute little uh, bicycle with balloons design, and then you have an area to write over there. And then you can even see the little envelope back there. You could see the little Totally Turk emblem behind the, the label there. Yeah, they all have little labels on them. Suggested retail is $3.50. I guess, I, I don't know, I guess that's for the whole thing. Or no, for each, because they both have that on there. But I don't remember where I got these from. I might have got them on eBay, but I, there was a ton of them in here. I only have the two left. This is the, I think, the Slim Journal in Cloudvine. Love Cloudvine. I've always really liked it, but now I'm starting to become like more attuned to the things that I have in Cloudvine because it just goes really well with Vera Bradley's Classic Navy. And I recently, or yeah, recently ordered a couple of Classic Navy items for really good prices. And just realizing that Cloudvine goes great with that. Comes with a little um, elastic to keep the pages together. You've got another twist cap pen. Goes in the side binding there. And then the opening looks like this. And the pages look like that. And then they do give you a little bookmark. I can find where it is. It's really flattened down. There it is, right there. This is one of my pride and joy items that my mom gave to me. This is Ellie Blue and it is, oh gosh, I'm so happy that these still have the tags on them. This is, note. it just says note cards, comes with 12 envelopes and 12 note cards and the suggested retail at the time $14. They don't make anything like this anymore. They do, I think, well, I don't know if Vera Bradley still makes note cards at all, but they used to make these cute little boxes where you could keep all of your little stationery. And that's what the back tags look like there. Again, the pattern is Ellie Blue. And you've got the elephant trim on the side. This is seriously one of my favorite things, one of my most used little things. And, oh, there's an address right there in the front. Let me... Put that to the side make sure there's nothing else so here is a little pocket that it's held in and this is the little stationary box now I only use these cards for like special occasions you know family members birthdays or celebrations close friends things like that but you'll see I do have other little note cards in there because over the years I have used the Ellie blue ones which I will show you one that I have left here um, yeah none of None of these are Vera on the top here. 
They are just other brand. But I do have an Emily Blue one. There's only a few left. So this is what it looks like. This is like one of my prized things. I just love this so much. So you get this really darling yellow envelope. And bam, there's the interior Ellie Blue. So freaking cute. And then here's what the card looks like with a little elephant in the balloon. And there's the back. And the inside is just blank, so you can, you know, write whatever messages you want. And that's it. So I just have a few, or maybe, yeah, maybe three of them left in there. And then the rest are just, you know, cards that I've collected over the years that I keep in there. Oh, there's the casserole carrier tag. I don't know why that's just chilling in there. Okay, but that's what that looks like. I love this item. I will keep this forever. Even when I run out of the Ellie Blue, I will just keep replenishing it with other cards. Okay, these are just non-Vera bookmarks. I don't know that Vera has ever made bookmarks. That would be awesome. So I think I said this was a Slim Journal. I don't know if that's the official name of it because I think these are also Slim Journals. I think these used to come in a set of two or three. But again, that same night at TJ Maxx where I found the Modern Medley one, I found this one and it was out of the package. They gave it to me for a dollar because it had no scan on it. And I said I wanted this, but it didn't have any tag and they just gave it to me for a dollar. So this is... Um, Oh, goodness gracious, I can't remember this pattern. Maybe it's in here. Okay, this one is all used. Like, every single page of this one is used. But it is just regular lined paper. That's what that looks like there. And this one is Fallen Flowers. Nicole gave this one to me. She included a little um, Harry Potter bookmark there. And that the pages look exactly the same in the other one. I think these are the Slim Journals. This one is the Recipe Organizer, and oh, would you look at that? I found another um, Parisian Dots pencil in there. Uh, this is the Recipe Organizer, and this came out right before they were going to release Hummingbird Park, and then they halted the release because of the pandemic. And so I grabbed this because this was on eBay. And it is plastic covered, still has a plastic covering, still has a sticker on it. And this is not used, so everything is still intact. Um, but you know there's places to write your recipe, who it's from. It's just a darling product. You've got like direction pages and folders. I don't know if you could still buy this. You know, Hummingbird Park is out for sale. It's been out for sale for months, but... I don't know if this is an item that's still available to buy. It's got the three ring binder. And, you know, you don't have to use it for a recipe organizer. Even though it does say recipes on the front, you can use it for anything. But that's something I have in there. This set, I think, came together and it was a Staples exclusive. It's basically a light colored version of Foxwood. So you've got the notebook and the folder. Now these are paper covers. I don't really like the paper. I like the plastic better. Now that I'm thinking of it, I forgot a stationary item that's sitting right over there. So I'm gonna grab that in a moment. But I did pick this up from Staples. I love this version of Foxwood. They actually released like a zip ID, a small study hall backpack in this print, uh, a little pencil bag, but there's the fox there. And I haven't used this yet. It's got the perforated college rule lined paper. I'm just really weird about paper notebooks and folders because they get beat up really fast if they're not plastic. There is that. And there is the inside, you know, just standard two pocket. Excuse me for one moment. I'm going to go grab this binder, which is one of my favorite things. And it's absolutely full of stuff. But I discovered this because of Warthog Princess's video. She had the same binder. I didn't know Vera Bradley made these at the time. I love this because it's plastic. It is extremely, extremely durable. Unlike the paper folders I just showed you, this has been to the moon and back and it still looks fantastic. 
It's the Vera Bradley Flexi Three Ring Binder and Lilac Tapestry. It retailed for $12. I love it when they still have the little tags on it so I don't have to guess what the pattern or style name is. Let me see if I can show you the inside and just take out some of the, uh, the documents that are in here. There's a ton. I love using this for tax season. That's typically my main my main use, but I have to take all this stuff out. Okay, I think that's everything. So here is what the inside looks like. You've got the nice plastic pocket folder, and then you've got these little plastic dividers. There's one, two, three, four. My dog I put the the casserole carrier on the floor and now my dog is stepping in it, so that's good. Um so there's one, two, three, okay, there's four, and then five. And then you've got the one in the back. So you see how it's all scratched up? Yeah, I, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. And it's going to last me a lifetime because even though it's got like little scratches, I don't know if you could see those back there. Even though it's got those scratches, this thing is not going to fall apart because it's a nice, durable plastic. Last but not least, I have um, the Paisley Patterns Coloring Book. And one of my best friends, Becky, bought me two of these for Christmas. And it retailed for $15. So this is Paisley in Paradise. So this, these two patterns go with this. I've had these for years. My mom gave me these a long time ago. But I have two of these, and I actually gave one to my mom because she loves this too. I can't remember what the other pattern was, but oh my gosh, this is so high quality, so well made. Look at the gold touches there. You can put your name there, and then I'll just show you a few of the designs. Oh, oh, this is so pretty. Goodness gracious. How pretty. Those are some designs that other people have done. So here's a few of the coloring pages here. I don't think they make these anymore, but I, I guess that you can find them online somewhere. There's another page there. I don't have any colored pencils or anything like that anymore, so I need to, to pick some up and do this, because this is so cute. Oh my gosh, they even have little... Uh, what is this? Oh, these little cards with little notes. So you can color the cards and then they have messages on the back. And they're perforated. I didn't even know this was in here, honestly. I I mean, I've looked at this, but I never looked that closely to see. Wow, this is so cool. They even have, like, the color wheel in here. Oh, this is really cool. They even have like shading and layering <laughs> lessons in there. How neat is that? Now this is cool. Wait a second, wait a second. They have a pattern guide in here. Now of course this is going to be some of the older patterns because Paisley in Paradise isn't an extremely old pattern. But it, you know, it is several years old now. So. How neat. How neat. Let's see, I don't want to miss anything else. There's, I mean, there's a ton of patterns and stuff in here. but And then they have recommendations on how you can use the artwork when you're done. Like you can frame it and hang it up and stuff. Anyway, that is all of my Vera Bradley stationery. So I thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!